Hi, we're back for part two of our walk from the Grand Hotel to the White Horse Inn in Havre de Par. I'm Tom from the Reluctant Outdoorsman channel and as usual I'm with my best mate Paddy G the Cockapoo. We zoom in to our start point on the beach in St Helier below the Grand Hotel. Our walk started with us walking up the slipway near the Grand Hotel. We then walked around to and through Castle Quay. In today's walk we skirt around the various harbours before cutting through to Havre de Par. And in the final video we'll walk along the front to our destination, the White Horse Inn. Right, so we're off and running. We're walking alongside the St. Helier Marina. The Liberty Wharf Shopping Centre is off to our left, as is the Pomdor Hotel, and after that, the Royal Yacht Hotel. You can see the dome of Fort Regent up on the hill and directly below it is the road tunnel that comes out near Green Street. So, if you don't like the colour yellow, I recommend you look away now. That would be Norman's. Big business in Jersey. That's the non-functioning steam clock, just to the left. Paddy! Oh, okay. Right, well I said the tide was up. I've obviously given you incorrect information because the harbour here is not completely empty, but which way is it going? Sorry ladies. So we're now walking alongside the old harbour. I don't know anything about boats or sailing, but it seems to me there's a lot of boats in there.
and unfortunately that above the big wall there, those buildings there was one on the end which was uh, destroyed in a, an explosion which took several people's lives so I think they're now all empty I believe it was a gas explosion so that was a tragedy Morning. Morning. Paddy's loving this, all the smell of the seaweed and everything. And uh, up here on the right is a was a very popular old pub. La Folly. So it looks like the actual name was La Folly Sun? No, the oh, La Folly Inn. Yes, that would make sense. Established 1773 by the harbour. I bet they've seen some high times in that pub. Looks like the sun is trying to come out. We walked down and up the slipway of the English harbour before we passed the, the Folly Inn. And this harbour to our right is now the French harbour. So up there is Mount Bingham and Fort Regent. And who knows what they're going to do with Fort Regent. Let's go and see who that is dedicated to. I have no idea. Howdy. It's a bit out of the way, isn't it? Right. The 
plaque says, the forgotten army in memory of islanders who served in the Burma campaign, 1941 to 1945, bravely endured. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow we gave our today. The plaque commemorates those from Jersey who served in Burma, the Far East and the Pacific during the Second World War. Far away but not forgotten. And that's a lot of lads. In commemoration of the gallantry of John Westaway when the SS Normandy foundered on the 17th of March 1870. Wow. John Westaway was a passenger on the Normandy who sacrificed his seat on the lifeboat to a Miss Albina Fall, also giving her his coat as protection against the elements. And this one, to noble heroism. Normandy, lost by collision in channel, in a fog. H.B. Harvey, commander. Erected by the foresters of Jersey. Both memorials remember those who lost their lives in thick fog when the Normandy of the Steam Packet Company sank after a collision with the Mary on the 17th of March 1870. 34 lives were lost. Giving up boats to passengers stood by their sinking ship and sank with her at early morn. Wow. Okay. It looks like the crew of the Normandy went down with their ship. I think many of you will agree with me when I say that people were made of sterner stuff in those days. Incredible. Anyway, I'm glad I stopped off to take a look at the monuments. I've passed them many times before and had no idea what they were there for. So we'll finish part two of our walk here, with part three finding its way onto the channel soon. Thank you so much for watching.